Hi beautiful weirdos, welcome back to Pretty Scary, it's Charlotte here and welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. You may remember that I ran a competition shortly before the 31 Days of October started in which I gave you the opportunity to give me any ideas that you might have for Halloween tutorials and that I would pick the best one for the channel and film it. And today I am doing just that. The winner of the competition was the lovely Abby Mann with her suggestion for Leatherface. I got lots of great suggestions and some of them I will be using in later videos but I did decide to use this one because I decided I wanted to put a kind of a sexy cosplay glam kind of twist on it. And it's a very easy one to do and it's very effective and it will creep everybody out. So I decided to go with Abby's idea. So thank you, Abby, for your idea. If you spot Edward the Bear anywhere in the shot, then please comment down below and let me know what he's wearing today, what Halloween costume he's wearing. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then why not? Hit the red subscribe button below and you'll see lots more of my Halloween videos. And yeah, I'm going to make a star, stick on my creepy... Hollywood what yeah and I'm going to make a start I'm going to stick on my scary stories and make a start on Leatherface we're going to begin with the human skin mask use a face cast if you have one if not you can always make this flat on a board mark out where you want the eyes and the mouth to be if you're making this flat on a board take a quick template of your face using a piece of cling film and just drawing around your features then using that to build the latex mask upon and then basically just a stipple latex onto whatever you're making this on top of with a sponge. You need to do at least three layers, letting each one dry in between. And then take wisps of some cotton wool before the third layer is dry and just stick those in all the areas around the mask. Obviously not the eye and the mouth holes. This will just add texture and also give your mask a little bit of strength. And then just go over all those cotton areas with some more latex. Leave that to dry, preferably overnight. And then once it's dry, it's time to paint. I'm using alcohol paint. You can just as easy, easily use grease paints, watercolour paints, whatever you happen to have. I'm first of all stippling on some dark red with a textured sponge. So basically just get a sponge and pull some little holes in it to make your own textured sponge. I'm using a lot of alcohol so it's more of a wash than anything. I'm then going over with some blue to add a bit more dimension. Oh yes, by the way, this is being brought to you by Boobcam again. Yes, my camera is tucked down my bra. It's the best way to film this kind of thing. And yeah, go over with a dark foundation. You want a dark foundation because dried skin tends to be a bit leathery and dark. Let's go over the whole thing and then powder. And then you want to find an edge and start peeling your mask away. And make sure you powder as you go so the latex doesn't stick to itself because it has a nasty habit of doing that. Once you've done that, start cutting where you want the sewn bits to be. Don't cut all the way through any of the areas, you still want it all intact. Thread your needle with some black thread. Make sure you tie the thread onto the needle, otherwise it has a nasty habit of pulling out of the needle, as I found out, because the latex kind of tugs on it. And start sewing. You have to be quite patient with this because, like I said, the latex does tug on the cotton so it can get a bit kind of messed up and knotty and, you know, tangled. So, yeah, just take your time and be patient. And you basically just want to sew all those slits back together. Be messy here, you don't need to do, you know, a good sewing job. In fact, you want it to be messy because, you know, you're a cannibalistic killer and all that. Right now you can do whatever you want with the eyes. I'm just going for a standard smoky eye with browns, greys and a nice maroon colour. You can do whatever your heart desires, however you normally do your makeup. You could just do a simple eyeliner flick, you could do a colourful smoky eye, you could do glitter, whatever you want basically. The world is your oyster. You just want to be glam underneath that human skin mask. 
you don't have a smoky eye like me, don't forget to blend, blend, blend with a big fluffy brush. I smudged out the smoky eye a lot underneath the eyes because I wanted it to look almost a bit dirty and grimy. I also defined my brows with some brown eyeshadow and then just went in with some liquid liner on the top and the bottom with a bit of a wing just to, you know, really look intense and smoky. I also put a bit of mascara on for some reason didn't film that bit. I didn't go for falses because I thought they might get in the way of the human skin mask but you can go for them if you want. Right now going on to sticking on our human skin mask. You want to apply some prosades to the areas where the mask will sit. So first of all start off with the centre of your face, glue onto your nose, put some prosade onto your actual nose and onto the nose part of the mask and let it go slightly dry so it goes tacky and then to sort of glue those two pieces together and then just repeat around the rest of your face you don't have to glue literally the whole thing completely flat to your face. Just glue it at points and the prosade will hold it very nicely. But you can also use spirit gum if you happen to have spirit gum. Obviously in the film he did have the human skin mask tied on but I'm using a little bit of artistic license. If you prefer you can put some string through the sides and tie it on. You'll still need to glue it in places but it will look like it's tied on then. Right, then I just went around the edges with a neutral sort of greyish shadow to create almost like a shadow from the mask onto the face. This is just for added dramatic effect. And also I wanted to look a little bit more grimy and have more of a differentiation between my actual skin and the skin of the mask. So any areas around the edges of the mask you basically just want to shade with a big fluffy brush and your shadow shade. You can also use a contour cream or powder or whatever you happen to have. Use the same colour to also shade a bit of deformation around the features of the mask and along the stitch lines to make them look a bit grimy. You can also add some random patches around the mask again to make it look grimy. Go in with browns and greys and yeah, whatever you happen to have. The dirtier, grimier and grungier the better. Now I'm just going in with some Death Purple, what a lovely name, and just intensifying those kind of mouldy, gnarly, grimy bits. Painting some around the edges of the mask, because it would have kind of gone dark and a bit kind of rotten and dried. my lips in hindsight I should really have done my lips before I put the mask on it would have been a lot easier so don't follow my example I'm just going for a really nice deep red liquid lip I'm going with my favorite NYX cherry skies again you can do with as with the eyes you can do whatever you want with your lips whatever your normal glam look is I just thought something quite dark and intense would suit this look and then I use NYX Cherry Skies to add some areas of blood on the mask and also dripping down the neck. And then I use some black grease paint just to deepen up some of the areas around the mask. I felt it needed a little bit more definition. bit of blood on my butcher's apron and on my chest and on my cleaver a little bit of gloss and a bit of back comb into my ponytail and I am done right beauty this is the finished sexy cosplay leather face 
I couldn't quite stretch to a chainsaw, so I've got a cleaver, but you know, he was a butcher, so. This is a very simple makeup to do, and you can pre-paint the mask before you put it on. The only reason I didn't is because I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go with all the colours and the mix of colours until I put it on my face. I'm going to stop waving this cleaver around by my face. Um, so I put it on my face and then painted it because I got an idea of the balance I wanted, but you can just copy what I've done. So, you know, I've done that for you. And then when you are ready to go out for Halloween, all you need to do is just do your normal makeup, stick your leather face mask on and bob your uncle. So most of the prep work is done beforehand. So it's great if you don't have much time to get ready for Halloween, like I said, if you're working till late or what have you. Anyway, I hope you like this look. Abby Man, congratulations again on your competition win. I hope you like the result. And if you like this video, everybody, please give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to comment down below where you saw Edward and what costume he was wearing. Speaking of costumes, I'll just give you a quick show of mine. I've got a shirt which I've tied up. I ordered a children's apron which I then stained with tea and fake blood and it was about three quid whereas the actual leather face ones were very expensive so there's a tip from the top for you there. And shorts which you can't see and shot, let me show you, oh no. It's to jump higher, oh no, just about, oh. shorts, shorts, please excuse my pasty legs, leather face open and a cleaver, please don't take a real cleaver out with you on Halloween because you're likely to get arrested, love you all, thank you for watching, see you next time.